For more information regarding the civil engineering concepts, please follow my website civilbasics123.com. So go to Google and type Civil Basics 123. So click on Google search option. So here my website link will be open here. So click on my website link Civil Basics 123.com. So my complete website will be loaded here like this. It will be consisting of detailed concepts regarding the civil engineering concepts. So I will post at least one article per two days. So you can select any one of the article for complete details about this respected civil engineering concepts. Okay. So please follow my website Civil Basics 123.com. In this video lecture, I will explain you complete concept which is related to the load combinations by using IS456 code and by using IS1893 code book. So these load combinations are related to the uh, seismic loading condition system, wind loading condition system and gravity loading condition system. Okay. So in my previous videos, I was explained load combination by using IS875 part 3 code book. Okay. So in this video, I will cover you by using 456 code and 1893 code book. Okay. So basically load combinations are nothing but the combinations of two or more load cases under certain conditions okay for example let us consider low rise building is there which is exist in uh, low seismic zone let us consider in zone 2 condition so for that respected zone we need no need to consider the wind loading effect as well as the seismic loading effect only it will be consisting of the dead load as well as the live loading combination okay so in that case we need to consider only the two combinations one is related to the dead loading and one is related to the live loading okay so that is comes under the gravitational loading condition combination okay if you take the seismic seismic loading condition then it will be added to your respective seismic loading condition in x direction distance as well as the y direction distance okay so firstly i will show you how to consider the different types of the 21 load combinations as per is 456 code and as per 1893 code book then after that i will explain you how to uh, add the load combinations in start pro v8a software for the g plus 5 building structural model okay so for that click on this pdf option initially so these are the load combinations which is related to the 21 numbers as per the IS456 and as per 1893 code book. Okay. So as per IS456 and as per uh, 1893 code book, the load combinations are classified into 21 categories. So these load combinations are related to the gravity loading combinations and lateral loading combinations. Okay. So in that first one is related to the combination of gravitational load case. Okay. So 1.5 times of dead loading plus live loading condition system. So this is the first load combination we need to consider as per the gravity load. And second one is related to the 1.2 times of dead load plus live load plus earthquake load in x direction distance. Okay. So again, the third one is related to the 1.2 times of dead load plus live load minus earthquake load in x direction again fourth one is related to the 1.2 times of dead load plus live load plus earthquake load in y direction and fifth one is 1.2 times of dead load plus live load minus earthquake load in y direction and sixth one is related to the 1.5 times of dead load plus earthquake load in x direction and seventh one is related to 1.5 times of dead load minus earthquake load in x direction and eighth one is related to the 1.5 times of dead load plus earthquake load in y direction condition and ninth one is related to the 1.5 times of dead load minus earthquake load in y direction so tenth one is related to 1.2 times of dead load plus live load plus earthquake wind load in x direction distance and 11th one is related to the 1.2 times of dead load plus live load minus wind load in x direction distance so 12th one is related to 1.2 times of dead load plus live load plus wind load in y direction 13th one is related to 1.2 times of dead load plus live load minus wind load in y direction so 14th one is related to 1.5 times of dead load plus wind load in x direction so 15th one is related to the 1.5 times of dead load minus wind load in x direction 16th one is related to 1.5 times of dead load plus wind load in y direction and 17th one is related to 1.5 times of dead load minus wind load in y direction and 18th one is related to 0 0.9 times of dead load plus 1.5 times earthquake load in x direction 19th one is related to 0 0.9 times of dead load minus 1.5 times of earthquake load in x direction 21 is related to 0 0.9 times of dead load plus earthquake load in x direction with 1.5 factor and last one is related to 0 0.9 times of dead load minus 1.5 times of earthquake load in y direction so these are the 21 load combinations we need to consider as per the is codal provision 456 and as per is 1893 code provisions okay so now i will explain you how to apply this respected load combinations in stat pro v8a software so firstly i will select the model which is uh, developed in stat pro v8a software so this is my building model i was done the modeling process and i was applied the load cases which is related to the earthquake load wind load and dead loading condition and live loading condition for the building structure as per high seismic zone okay so initially i will show you the material properties 
So for this respected building structure, I was consider column size, which is consisting of approximately 0.4 meter cross 0.4 meter, and beam size, which is consisting of 0.4 cross 0.23, and slab thickness, which is consisting of 150 mm. So now I will show you the rendering view, 3D rendering view for this respected structure. So click on the 3D rendering view option. So this is my 3D rendering view for the building model under considerations of the building. Okay. So after applying all the load combination load cases, we need to apply the load combination section. Okay. The reinforcement values is also depend. Depends upon the load combinations only. So here we are considering the one is related to the earthquake load in x direction, two is related to the earthquake load in y direction, and three is related to the wind load in x direction, and four is related to the uh, wind load in y direction. Five is related to dead load, and the last one is related to the live load. Okay. So firstly, for adding the load combinations as per IS codal provision, which we are specified here as twenty one numbers, we need to click on the uh, load case details option. So click on add button. So in this, it will be consisting of primary load case, load generation, load combination, and auto load combination. So as per my previous designs, I am going with uh, auto load combination. Why? Because uh, by adding this respected manual load combination, it will be take some time. So for saving the time purpose only, just I am uh, done with the previous models with auto load combination. So this is the load generation option. You can generate for the uh, moving loading condition systems. So click on the define load combination. Okay. So now we can see these are the available load cases which we are developed by using StatPro V8A software. And this is the default value factor AI. So here we have to mention the factor which is related to 0.9 or 1.5 or 1.2. So as per the first combination, it will be consisting of 1.5 times of dead load plus live load here. Okay. So for that reason only, just I am considering the load which is related to the 1.5. Okay. So now we have to add the two load cases which is related to the dead load plus live load condition system. Okay. So you can select the one load case and you can add here. Otherwise, you can add with the multiple selections here like this. Okay. So you can add and you can deselect here. Okay. If you want to add a two load cases, you can select the two load cases and you can add here. So that it will add the factor as 1.5. You can change the factor value if possible here. Okay. So click on add option. So now we can see. It was added with the load combination case number seven, which is consisting of one point five times of dead load plus live load. Here, the five number indicates the dead load, and six number indicates the live load condition system. Okay, so as per the considerations of the definition, first one is completed. Now we have to add the second one, which is related to the uh, dead load plus live load mine plus earthquake load in x direction condition system. Okay, so for that, firstly we have to add this respective factor one point two. So now we have to select the load case which is related to the dead load and live load. Again, we have to add the earthquake load in x direction distance. Okay, click on add this so that it will add the load combination which is related to the 1.2 times of load one, load five, load six. Okay, so again in the same process we have to add the load in uh, minus x direction. Okay, so for that firstly we have to select this respected uh, value which is of earthquake load x and dead load live load. So here we have to add this. So in order to keep this respected minus value. In front of the earthquake load x, so we have to take the factor as minus. Okay, so here first one is related to the minus 1.5. Click on add option. Now we can see it was added this respective load cases which is related to the dead load plus live load minus earthquake load in x direction. Okay, so again in the same process we have to add the another load combination which is related to the 1.2 times of dead load plus live load plus uh, earthquake load in y direction. So that's why we have to select the factor here as 1.2 here. And you have to select earthquake load in uh, y direction condition, dead load, live load. So here I am adding this. So click on add option so that it will add the tenth combination. Again in the same process we have to add the earthquake load in y direction with the dead load, live load. And we have to keep the minus value in front of the 1.5 factor which is of uh, earthquake load in y. So click on add. So now we can see it will add your respected combination which is related to dead load plus live load plus minus 1.5 times of your respected. Uh, Earthquake load in y direction condition. Again, in the same process, we have to add the load combination, which is related to the next one, which is comes under the 1.5 times of dead load plus earthquake load in x direction and one minus x direction plus x direction and minus y direction. Okay. So for that, firstly we have to select this respected uh, dead factor, which is related to the 1.5 factor. Select the dead loading condition, earthquake loading condition. Click on add option. So again, in the same process, we have to add the factor as minus one. Select earthquake load x, dead load. Again, in front of this respected value one, we have to keep as minus. Okay. So now it was added. In the same process, we have to add the y direction condition also. Dead load plus earthquake load in y direction. Click on add option. Now in the same process, we have to add the dead load plus earthquake load in y direction with a suitable factor as minus one point five. 
click on add so after adding this respected four combinations again in the same process we have to add the load combination which is comes under the wing load condition system with 1.2 factor okay so for that we have to select the factor is 1.2 here okay let us consider the factor is related to the 1.2 factor here so now we have to select the dead loading condition live loading condition and wind load in x direction condition click on add again in the same process we have to add the dead loading live loading wind load in x direction condition system with the factorized minus 1.2 click on add in the same process we have to add the y direction condition wind loading condition with 1.2 factor dead load live load wind load in y direction first factor click on add in the same process just i am selecting dead loading live loading wind load in y direction with the minus 1 factor so minus 1.2 factor click on add so that it will add the combination which is related to the wind loading condition system now we have to add the combination which is related to the 14th combination 15th 16th 17th combination which is related to the dead loading and wind loading condition factors okay so for that firstly we have to take the factor here as 1.5 Select the dead loading condition again. Select the wind load in X. Click on Add option. So now we have to select the dead loading condition, wind load in X direction. Click on Add. So we have to keep minus value in front of this respected section. So again in the same process we have to select the dead loading condition, wind load in Y direction condition. Click on Add option. So again in the same process we have to select the dead load, wind load in Y. Now we have to add the factor as minus in front of this respected consideration. Okay. So now we have to add the last four combination, which is combination of 0.9 times of dead load plus 1.5 times of earthquake load in x direction distance. Okay. So for that, firstly we have to select the factor is 0.9 here. Okay. Let us consider 0.9 here. Select the dead loading condition. Click on Add option. So now we have to change this respected factor to uh, let us consider 1.5 as per our definition. So select the earthquake load in x direction. Click on Add. Okay. So that it will add the 0.9 times of dead load plus uh, 1.5 times of earthquake load in x. In the same process, we have to add the 0.9 times of dead load minus again we have to add the value as minus 1.5 times of earthquake load in x direction distance. Okay. So click on Add. So in the same process, we have to add the y direction case. So 0.9 times of dead load here. Click on Add option. Again, we have to add the factor as minus one, sorry, 1.5 times of wind load, which is in y direction, sorry, earthquake load in y direction condition. Okay. Click on add. So in the same process, we have to add the factor as minus 1.5, 0.9 times of dead load here. Again, minus 1.5 times of earthquake load in y direction distance. Click on add. Okay. Again, click on the close option. So now we can see. Here it was defined with the load combinations here like this, which is related to the seventh number, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, like this. Okay, which is consisting of twenty-seven numbers. So here we are defining the primary load cases till the six numbers. Okay, twenty-seven minus six, which is equal to twenty-one numbers here. Okay, so as per the definitions of the IS four five six and eighteen ninety three code book, the load cases will be consisting of twenty-one numbers here. Okay, you can check the load combination randomly for the respected purpose. Okay, so here I am selecting load case which is related to the fifteenth number, or else you can consider thirteenth number, which is related to the nineteenth number here. Okay. Again, this is the combination which is related to the nineteenth one, dead load plus live load minus wind load in y direction. Okay, so you can check here. So after that, we need to analyze the structure. Go to analysis and print. Add or no print option. Close option. Go to analyze option. Click on analysis option. Click on save option. So now here we have to check for the zero errors. So as per the analysis considerations. So now we can see here my model is obtaining the zero errors. Go to post to process mode. Click on done option here. So click on apply load cases. Click on OK. So these are the load combinations. You can select the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the respective load combinations under consideration. This is the shear force diagram. Again, you can click on the MZ value. So this is the bending moment diagram under consideration. Okay. So this is the complete process of how to add the uh, load combinations as per the IS codal provision, which is related to the four five six and as per the IS eighteen ninety three code book. It will be consisting of twenty one numbers of the load combination. So these are the load combination which is specified as twenty one numbers as per the stand plus software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for the respected questions. And please follow my website for complete concepts related to the civil engineering topics. Civil basics one two three dot com. Thank you.